Hello Libra, how are you for May, my lovely people? How's April been? It's been quite interesting for many of us. But I feel it's all calming down and getting easier and into the flow in May. So it has been for the other sign so far. So let's see what we have for you. What have we got for Libra, please, for May? What's the overall energy for Libra, please? The overall energy. Okay. You've got two, guys. You've got the sun and you have the knight of cups. This is great. What a great energy for the months. Whoa, wonderful. So you've got the sun coming out lifting inspiring creating this is your center of confidence self-belief positivity and you're really driving forward in may with a very strong belief that everything's going to be okay this is such a positive uplifting card and with the knight of cups with it this is taking action on what brings you that happiness. So you're really looking in May about where is my happiness and what do I want? I'm feeling great. And as I feel great about my happiness, I want to draw more of that to me. So once we're in this vibration, any vibration at all, we automatically want we draw more of it to us. So when we're in a negative vibration, we don't want to be drawing that to us. But this beautiful energy of the sun encourages us to say, do you know, I feel great. I'm going to go out for the day. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. We start to become much more focused on our happiness, which is great. Absolutely wonderful. What? So let's have a look at the detail through the months then, please. Okay, for many of you, this is about love and romance, but not just that. It's deeper than that. It's the connection with yourself. All right, what's the Five of Cups there do, doing there, please? What's the Five of Cups doing there for Libra? What's going on with that? I'm feeling this is a past energy. No, okay, some of you, some of you are going through it. Bless you, my darlings. Not all of you, it's not going to resonate for everybody. This is a general read. This Two of Cups can represent a romantic relationship, a friendship, a relationship with a child, um, any kind of relationship at all where there has been, for some of you, real upset. Now, this isn't good for Libra. You don't like upset. You like everything balanced and harmonious. So this really goes against you and you'll have been worrying about this. This may not even be your relationship. You may be worrying for somebody else. Um, now, what we want to do is try and step away from that. We often do, don't we? We get caught up in other people's dramas. And because you've got such a need for harmony and you see other people around you having fallout, you, it worries you, it upsets you. But for many of you, this is you. So this is in contradiction to this. So let's find out a little bit more about this. So, come on, if the overall energy is this sun and positivity, why have I got the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords there? Tell me more, please. Okay, good. I'm glad to see that card for you. So, you're coming away from this energy because you realised that, do you know what, this isn't serving me. All I'm doing is having sleepless nights and feeling low. And I don't want to. I want to be in my happiness. I want to be feeling uplifted. So you are consciously lifting yourself out of it and turning your back on it and walking away from it. Whatever that was, you're leaving it behind you. I'd say about the middle of May here. Good. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune to be able to move forward into a new cycle, a new start, a fresh start relating to your happiness and your upliftment. For those of you who are interested in a relationship who are single, with the Two of Cups here and the Knight of Cups, he's an energy of coming along, somebody new sweeping you off your feet. Which for some of you who've been... Mm, they're just saying to me, it doesn't apply to all of you, but for those of you that are single that have been through quite a bad breakup, meeting somebody new can be very, very healing. And that enables you to leave the past behind you and be able to move forward. Now, what else do we want to tell Libra, please? What else can we tell Libra? Eight of Wands. All right, good. This is a card for many of you about promotion. 
um, getting promoted, getting a new job, because this is a card of going far. It's kind of the minor arcana's equivalent of the chariot. It's about going far, doing well, flying high. It also indicates travel, expansion, development. You are moving forward here. Mm, and then you are coming back to this balance, which is so important to you the harmony the balance moderation this flow and you know we have the cup here we have two cups here flowing from one to the other and all of the water with the sparkles this is very much about emotional balance feeling emotionally back on track where we'd gone off kilter a little bit here you're coming back to track more or less in the middle of the month i'm feeling that you've, you've you are feeling much stronger Mm, this is going to be around the full moon time, which um, is going to be hitting around there. So it's lifting you back into a very positive space. So what else have we got for Libra, please? How lovely. The Ace of Pentacles. So as we're coming to the end of the month, guys, you've got the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles. New beginnings confirmed here with a new beginning. For some of you, this is a new job, but it's really about feeling a newness in your sense of grounding, stability, security. If any of you are waiting for news, we haven't got any pages here coming in with news, but we're definitely moving towards a new beginning here. A new beginning which is going to be more secure financially, more secure in your grounding, your sense of anchor yeah so all of that whatever was going on here for some of you not all of you will have cleared and passed by the end of the month let's find out a little bit more with the lenormand cards tell me a little bit more please about the sun and the knight of cups for libra the overall energy of positivity tell me a little bit more Okay, that card there, that's the park, and that card represents public spaces, public events, getting out and about in nature. Many of you may be going off to concerts, music concerts, um, going off to public events in public spaces that are going to be really, really enjoyable. You can see some of you going off for day trips or weekend trips or just getting out. And it just helps to rebalance, to bring things back into that sunny space because that's what you're wanting. This month is all about your happiness. It's all about developing and growing and lifting your happiness into a much stronger place. Tell me a bit more about the Eight of Wands, please. Okay, this card, this is the tower, but it's not like the tower in the other deck. This represents big organisations, big, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Big business, things like universities, corporations, major business and it's linked for some of you with this going far, all right? So for those of you that are applying to university at this time, ready for September, um, this would represent success and going far. For those of you applying for jobs with a big corporation and a large business, that's signifying you're going to get the job and have a fresh start. Not applying to everybody. They're just telling me for some of you about pensions going from you know one spectrum to the other. Um, this represents big organizations and pensions. For those of you looking for stability within your finances um, as we're going through life, this would represent a very good structure financially that's linked to these big organizations. Mm. Yeah, they're also saying for some of you going through any legal matters, um, this would represent big lawyers, firms and things. And again, doing very well, going far. What else do you want to tell Libra, please, for May? I want one more from here and then we'll see what the angels want to add. What else do you want to tell Libra? all about timing my darlings all about timing this is the clock and it's saying look divine timing this will come when it needs to come the ducks need to be in a row everything needs to be aligned but it is coming and i want you to trust and know that through may you are heading towards this new beginning 
this new beginning, uh, this new cycle, this new stronger foundation that is going to make you feel so much happier and stronger and it is coming. So I want you to hold that and the last card there at the bottom of the deck, the anchor. It is all about strengthening up your foundation, shoring up your foundation. It's moving in its correct time. I love all the different clocks on here, all the different mechanisms. It's like everything has to turn before the last one clicks into place. You've got an owl here representing wisdom. You've got a cockerel here representing for me that's representing you'll know when the time is right the cockerel will, will crow okay you're moving into the right space balance timing it's moving towards this lovely space of strength and stability within your foundation it's as if this is all preparing you guys for the next six months getting you into the right place ready to move you forward uh, over the coming months it, it feels really strong very very positive very helpful and supportive towards your really firm foundation underneath you very positive reading guys i hope this helps and thank you for listening thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing and all of that i love you guys and i'll see you for the weeklies or i'll see you next month in june for the monthlies take care